Hi, this is Jennifer Escalera, and I'm here today with a special guest. Her name is Ashley Curtis, and she was one of my students in the Energy Healing Practitioner Certification Program. So I'm here with her today to just get some ideas about her experience in the program and hopefully help those who are interested in learning more about energy work or how to use energy work for a profession, you know, if you want to become a professional energy healer. And so, yeah, let's get right into it. So Ashley, thank you so much for taking the time to be interviewed for this video. Um, of course, Jen, of course. Yeah. So if you could, <laughs> yeah, so if you could tell us a little bit about your Yourself and how you got into the program. Okay, well, hi everyone. I am Ashley Curtis. I am a healer. I'm a divine goddess. I'm a creatrix. Uh, I'm, I'm a lot. Okay, I'm a jack. A jack. What we call it? A jill of all trades. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. And I really am so grateful for um, the Mystic Living School. I currently own a healing oasis by the name of the journey healing oasis and i would not have been able to feel i think as confident in it and as equipped to manifest this vision that i've had for years if it wasn't for my time spent learning from the mystic living school specifically jennifer escalera um i have a background. I have a BS in psychology. I got my master. Uh, went to get my master's in social work. Um, a minor in philosophy. I've always studied the mind and behavior. Um, I have eight years of ABA experience, and I always knew that I was a healer, and I had been searching for the medium. Like, how do I? Do I've been healing since I was seven years old. Like, I've always been in this space. I grew up in the church. Um, and one day, like something, at the time I didn't realize it was like my intuition, it was spirit God, but something was telling me to just look for um, something I would want to be able to do without having to go back to school again. Because I'm like, mm -hmm. psychology wasn't it, social work wasn't it, all these different things weren't it. I knew I wanted to help people, but not under certain com confines and constraints that you have in like the mental health industry and the social work industry. Um, and so I started Googling and just researching and, um, and Reiki came up and then energy healing came up and somehow I stumbled upon the Mystic Living School. And I remember when you called me, Jen, you were like, I literally just put this up today. How did you <laughs> find did, me? So, I did, yeah. and I was your first student. It was the yep. first person. So mm -hmm. I thought that was, I knew at that time it was divine and I just couldn't wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was it? that attracted you to the program, you know, when you were looking, so you had this, you were searching for more than just your background, right, from the traditional ways, but what was it that called to you specifically about the program and what it offered that you said, yes, this is for me, and then once you got into the course, into the program, what was that like for you? Um, I honestly can't remember exactly what it was that made me say like, yes, this was for me. It was just kind of like a feeling, like a knowing. I think just reading the description, like how you broke down, like, are you a empath? Do you, are you sensitive? Like, are you things? It was just like, yes, yes, yes. And um, uh, so I don't know, like I said, it was just a knowing. It was something different about your program than when I was looking at other ones. Something just felt different. Um, and then when I got into it, I could I knew the first day that it was going to be great because of your personality. Mm -hmm. um, I was very nervous going into it. I didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be all serious and like, you know, um, but you were just very down to earth, very um, cool. And like from day one, it was kind of like, well, how do you feel? It was you never just put your feelings or thoughts on things you would ask us to consider things but it was all always more so developing that inner knowing um and I felt I felt that right away and it made me nervous because I'm like well god damn I thought she was gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, but I knew there that I was going to be like challenged and and I was going to learn so yeah I would say I knew from your personality 
like I, you felt very comfortable in what you knew but you didn't have to like make that it wasn't like ego involved at all if that mm. makes sense yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. So can you tell us about that process of when you would ask questions and I would always redirect it about like, well, what is your intuition? Like, what do you yes. feel? Like, what was that like for you in the beginning? And then how did it turn out for you at the end? Well, during, um, well, when you always do that, I will be like, well, what in the heck? Okay. So like overthinking and feeling anxious and stuff. Uh, but because it was just a, a community of other women and like they might say something or they might have been feeling the same way like it was comforting it was very uncomfortable and comforting at the same time just because I had peers that you were say, out saying the same thing to um, but in hindsight like I realized it really did help strengthen um, that inner knowing that I have now because now like, I remember, like, you would say, well, what do you think? Or or just ask, ask. And I remember I would ask all the time within my mind's eye or in, in, inwardly. I would say, well, what does this person need? Practicing on one of my classmates. And I would pick the oils or whatever, and it would be specifically exactly what they needed. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was like an unfolding of, like, you really, you, you really do have this. This really is your gift. It was like you were slowly peeling back these layers to remind me of what's always been there um and I will say after like later on I didn't even have to ask like it was like I would just get your little like but I wouldn't know because it's been so strong and now it's you know I can hear your voice sometimes still but <laughs> it I laugh because I'm like I get what she was saying now like oh I get it like it all makes sense because you'll say yeah, this is just the left brain stuff, but it's going to just flow. And so it really mm -hmm. does just flow. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So just trusting in the flow and making that connection. Eventually you'll, you'll match with it. Yeah. Just trusting knowing like, okay, it's uncomfortable, but it's like a good thing. Like that means you're going to grow. Like, okay. And, she want, and I feel like it was like a feeling of like, she she wants you to know that you like it's in you like you wouldn't just give us answers or, you know and stuff so that was cool awesome awesome what did you take away from the program that you didn't already know I didn't realize the just the empress that I am <laughs> I didn't realize that I was who I am mm. and not ego but just facts yeah um, I didn't realize the power that I possess mm. um and the influence, I mean, I knew I had it, but why? I didn't realize the why. And I feel like I walked away knowing that and feeling confident in that um, with just the, the room for practice and just, you know, I was always asking more questions and uh, things like that. But I would say I walked away with a true knowing that the, I'm walking in my calling. Like I know how to go and seek my spiritual team for myself um I know what I need and I know that there are many different tools and I know how to pull from what I need based on you know what sense or what clear or you know what's going on like I feel like I really walked away knowing that the tools that I have to heal myself can help heal others but like knowing that it's like oh I might do this I might do that but like it's a necessity like you know mm -hmm. like my spiritual health and wealth is a necessity and it really like is the cornerstone for everything else I, I don't being able to meditate weekly became like a yearning like you know us meditating together all the time and um just reflecting and just doing spiritual work and practicing during the week I found myself still now when I'm out of it and you know we've I've been out of class what was that May, June, July, oh, like three months or so, but mm -hmm. reminding myself of that consistency of being in that realm and how high my, how high I vibrate and how quick I've been able to manifest things. It mm -hmm. reminds me like, oh, you, you need to make sure you meditate. Oh, it's been, maybe it's been two days and I've been so busy that it's like ground, ground, remembering, mm -hmm. remember what you need to, I, I learned a lot of like grounding is one, I learned what my medicine specifically was from being mm -hmm. at the Mystic Living School, what, what my, 
you know, constant triggers will be in what I need to make sure that I do to stay on top and align with higher self. So Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I just said a lot, but I learned a lot. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's important for people to understand because, you know, that's part of what my next question is, is that, you know, what would you say that the type of person this would be for, you know, in, in the program, in the practice, like, this is someone who wants to just be like, oh, I love crystals. And this is just so trendy. Or is this something that like, people really want to create permanent change, lifestyle change, a higher consciousness, Um, like you were saying? Yeah, I would say that this program specifically um, it's for anyone that wants to like strengthen that inner walk and want to be able to have a community of people that are very, um, very like spiritual and deep, like they know that there's things beyond themselves um, and want to be able to walk in that and strengthen that. I feel like it's for that type of person, um, like I said, and to build a community around it because that helped a lot. I feel like I, I learned the tools that I needed and I know what to rely on when I'm feeling triggered, when I'm feeling low, um, when I'm absorbing too much of others in people energy. So anyone that absorbs energy, that feels energy, that's sensitive, that's very aware to more than just like the surface level. Mm-hmm. Um, have, learn, I, having that and having that community when I felt like I didn't have myself I couldn't lean on myself I could lean on one of my classmates um you know and so that has been very very helpful for me and so again any I would say that this program is for anyone that is an intuitive or very sensitive that sees beyond the surface but doesn't know necessarily like how to strengthen that or what to do with it or how to create boundaries for their energy they find themselves drained because they absorb Mm -hmm. energy so like this class was definitely for that because it's it's more of a uh a, a life it's a spiritual transforming type of program almost mm-hmm. like a fitness program and you can take it in, you know, go and be a trainer, <laughs> another mm-hmm. spiritual trainer, or you can just take it and keep your spiritual life intact. So, yeah. Yes. Awesome. Very well put. And what about the people who, and maybe you had this thought as well, but what about the people who come from a very religious or, you know, faith-based as far as traditional religion And they're also called to this program or they're also called to learn more about just beyond an organized uh, religion. Um, Is there anything that you could speak on that? Um, Well, I, I feel like this program is definitely for, it's for anyone that believes in a higher power, whether it's you've been to church all your life, like me, I went to, I've, I grew up in the church. I'm talking the Monday, month, four or five days a week. I was in church for different things. If it wasn't praise dance, it was choir, it was Bible study Friday in the church. And I feel that this program just helped to illuminate some of those gifts and some of those things that I saw growing up. Um, some of the prayers, the tongues, like different spiritual things, but no one ever really delve deeper enough into to explain I just feel like I was able to connect the dots mm-hmm. on a lot of things um this program is definitely for anyone that is or has like a, a devout religious background um I just feel like you know someone that is open-minded and very aware that God is not just in a box or a book mm-hmm. um but within you and that this just helps to unlock and give you more tools to tap into that guy that you've been learning about your whole life. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And what now, you know, after the program, you shared a little bit about your Oasis um, healing business and what has this program specifically helped you to reach those goals or just as an entrepreneur, 
um, someone who, a woman who is in business, a woman of color who is in business in the spiritual realm. Um, what can you say about that, that the program has um, brought you any opportunity with that? I would say um, it brought me a lot of confidence and a lot of clarity with just moving forward with a business. Within the course, like we went over how to run a business and just different how to's and what to know, what to look out for that I didn't know. And so just having that information definitely had me had me feeling very equipped. I was on it. I went right away and did the did the things that I needed to do to make sure that my business was a legal operating business. Mm-hmm. Um, so I definitely learned that from this program and just I am a, a visual learner. So just seeing you be a woman of color running a school, having one-on-one sessions, doing sound healing, all while being a, a, a family, having a family, um, watching that let me know that it was possible and just, you know, it just unlocked the door like, yeah, let's get to it. So mm-hmm. <laughs> not only just you leading by example, but also with, with you know, the course and having that uh, portion in there and being so open and so welcoming to answer questions and you know give you know dialogue and you know everything as it relates to setting certain things up in the healing business definitely um definitely set up for success like this was the absolute nothing but divine um interaction and learning experience for me Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ashley, for taking the time to share all this uh, really good information. I think that this will help to uh, clarify some things for people and uh, give them an opportunity and insight to what this program is like. So how can people stay connected with you, uh, learn more about what you do, how to maybe book a session, all that good stuff? Okay, well, um, I have a sound healing tour and I'll be starting back in October. And you can um, learn more about that at uh, on Instagram. You can go to at the journey dot healing oasis. My personal Instagram is I am Ashley Curtis, and you can always find book a session or find out more at the journey healing oasis dot com. The journey healing oasis.com <laughs> beautiful beautiful thank you ashley so much for your time i appreciate thank it you. thank you bye everyone Toodles.